What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video and in today's video we're gonna be making a VIP style bill. Now VIP style car is basically a, a luxury Japanese car that's been slammed to the ground, big wheels, cambered out. Once I realized how much camber you can actually put on cars and automation I'm like the first thing I thought about was I gotta do a VIP bill. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I gotta cut into this video because some of the footage I recorded creating this engine was lost. I don't know how it got lost but the engine I'm trying to create is a high revving three cylinder engine and we just gonna continue where the footage I got left so I'm sorry but what can I do <laughs> Okay, so just by tweaking a few things, I up the quality on the pistons and rods and the head, and I up the cam profile all the way up to 100. I was able to squeeze out 11,200 RPM. Can't be mad at that. <laughs> so now we have to the point of where just want to tweak the power band, see if we can get even more power, because right now it's only making 377 horsepower and 229 foot pounds of torque. Now the power curve looks pretty good, but let's see if we can get a little more power up out of this. I really think that this is probably the most I can get out this engine. It's making 477 horsepower and 288 pound-feet of torque, and it's making all power all the way up to 11,000 RPM. Compressor and turbines are flowing okay. They flow in decently. I'm gonna leave it at the 476, 477. I think that's a healthy number, especially out of a three-cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it painted up. So I want this car to be black. So I'm just gonna black out absolutely everything. So this is our engine looking real menacing. So let's go ahead and put it in the car. So we got our car right here. I'm gonna go ahead and morph this car up to like where I like it for the most part and go from there. So we got a basic morph. Uh, next thing I wanna do is throw some paint on here. So I'm gonna make it black with, for flake. Um, let's do medium flake. We don't want too much flake. Just medium is good. For trim, same thing. Go ahead and black all of that out. And then for rims, gotta do chrome rims. I gotta do it. VIP, VIP shit. Brake calipers are, they should be, I think I'm just gonna leave them red with no flakes. There's no brakes in the car right now, but that's fine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick some wheels out. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end up going with these. They looking real VIP. Real shiny. So next, let's do drive train, real wheel drive, manual, six speed, a top speed of maybe like one. Let's let, let's do one seventy. Um, leave space in the loan for now. Viscous LSD wheels, radials, semi slicks. Biggest I can do on the front is a two fifty five. Biggest on the rear is two eighty five. With the with the morph that we got, I feel like that's probably enough tire though. I don't want to stretch the body out too much. <laughs> Go ahead and bump those up to some 20s. Ooh, ee, looking real fresh. That took our tire width down though a lot. But if I bump the diameter up, it's giving me my, my tire size and back. So that's good. Yes, that's looking hard. <laughs> wow. That's looking hard. Alloy wheel material for brakes. We're gonna do carbon ceramics. Why not? Four piston. Let's do a 14. No, let's do 10 in the front. Actually, let's just do vented disc. I feel like we always doing carbon ceramic. We can do vented this time. For the rear, let's do a two piston in the rear with a 10 inch disc. Let's do a 75 pad material with a 65 35 split. You can kind of see the brakes behind those wheels. <laughs> uh, next, aerodynamics. Uh, shouldn't really need much of anything. This car is going to be ridiculous, so I really don't think it's going to need any type of aerodynamics or anything. Cooling should be fine. Braking should be okay. Just bump that up a little bit. Lead a seat in. Luxury. Luxury infotainment. Now, this is not putting an interior in the car, and you guys can let me know if you want me to start doing the interior of the cars. I just feel like they kind of it kind of takes a long time to do interiors for something that you won't even see so it's like if you guys want me to do interiors i'm more than happy to do it y'all just have to let me know i'm just trying to do what you guys like you know while enjoying the game at the same time so hydraulic power steering abs no safety 
suspension this is where we really need to be at so i don't know if the if a different uh setup will allow allow it to go lower we're just gonna go with our normal progressive adaptive dampers and active sway bars uh, let's go ahead and hide the graph for right now and let's slam this so we are low would be nice to go a little bit lower <laughs> i might have to take the 20s off and put 18s just to go a little lower let's add camber seven degrees of camber in the front whoa <laughs> That bad boy is tucking. Let me try. Let me see. Let me see how 18s look real quick. Let me just see how they look with a little bit smaller of a tire. That don't look terrible. Actually, I kind of like that a little bit more because I feel like the 20s was just a little too much. <laughs> a little too much. That's looking. That's that's hard. Just like that. Uh, let's go back to suspension. I'm kind of thinking that this stance right here is honestly perfect. I don't want it to be too crazy, but those wheels need to be slanted. <laughs> and they are definitely slanted, and we are slammed. So I'm going to have to stiffen this all the way up, because if I don't, it's probably not going to drive good. So I'm just going to go ahead and just stiffen everything up. Even the sway bars, I'm going to stiffen up a little bit. I'm going to leave the front a tad bit stiffer. This is going to be one stiff car. So next, now that we're at this point, uh, the suspension is pretty much where I want it to be. It's time to add fixtures and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and put my fixtures on here and make this car a car. Okay, so here's the car, our VIP style build. Uh, I didn't want to go too extreme with it. I feel like it looked cool just how it is, nice and sleek and basic, black, all the chrome, blacked out except on the wheels, tip pointing out all the way, shooting out the back end. Like it's looking, re it's looking real good. Next thing we need to address, because I didn't address it, was the gearing and actually look, taking a look at this graph because. I don't know how the car is going to perform, so we need to address that. It's saying 0 to 62 in 5.3 seconds, which is not bad. We'll spend 43%, 62 to 0 mile per hour, and 117 feet. Not bad again. It's saying that it's more tend to oversteer than understeer, which is which is weird. Um, obviously, it's really stiff. <laughs> so the car weighs 31.56 pounds, which is uh, okay, not too bad. Oh, more on the heavier side for such a small sedan but it's fine uh one thing i want to do is address this gearing though see if we can get any more up out of this i don't know if it's going to be possible so i got the gearing set up and i mean so far it's looking decent it's looking good enough for a car that's looking like this so i feel like uh we are probably done in automation so let's go ahead and export this and let's see what exactly this car drives like all right so we at the drag strip i already drove it around to film the b-roll and it's it's definitely interesting it's definitely a different car <laughs> that's for sure so i'm gonna race something slow because it's really not that fast but it do sound pretty cool i'm gonna race that the hyundai that i had made and let's see what tab we can do like i said it do sound good left revving up all all the way to 11 grand i mean this is the first car i had revved that high so you know that's cool with the pops and bangs but it's really not f that quick uh it's really not <laughs> nothing special come on come on girl so that's 11.9 first hit at 126. That's not bad. As far as me getting any quicker than that, I'm not sure, but it's only one way to find out. I think that was a little bit better of a launch.
One cool thing, one cool thing we did, 11A4. Mm -hmm. What I was going to say was one cool thing about this 11,000 RPM limit is like, it's always in power. It's like, even if you shift it at 11,000, like, it drops down to like seven to 8,000, which is still the peak power band. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to give it one more shot. I don't know if we're going to go any faster than that. I'm just trying my best. That's all I can do. <laughs> Like it's still a little bit of travel in the suspension. Mm. Eleven seven two. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that eleven seven two. We lost about almost a mile per hour. By just looking at the mile per hour, <laughs> we're not gonna do that much faster. So I'm gonna take the eleven seven two and let's go ahead and head to the racetrack and see how I do there. All right. So now we at the racetrack. Let's see what this thing do. It's nothing but wheel spin. Forty pounds of boost <laughs> going through this little three cylinder. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> God Lee, I'm grinding gears. Come on, girl. So I gotta keep in mind that the brakes on here are okay, but I normally just like go overkill with brakes and I kept it kind of conservative with this car, so I just gotta remember that. Fell out of boost. Gotta get used to this high RPM. Come on, girl. I think the top speed is like 172. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit it though. I ain't got the brakes for it. <laughs> I'm not even finna go for it. That was that was smooth though, I ain't gonna lie. So I'm just gonna give myself credit because I think I just build great cars. <laughs> With all this damn camber and slammed, it's really stiff. <laughs> it's still driving really good. Engine's good, it sounds great. Like it's just spinning like the entire time, but at the same time it's like it's like haze in the tires. It's not like just spinning out of control. Come on. Two twenty point six. Wow. That's one of my slower times, but what can you expect? Look at the car. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and run that back one time and let's see if we can do anything better than a two, uh, 220. All right, try number two. Let's see what we got. Try to drive it a little bit harder. It kind of drives like a Honda. Like you just gotta let it spin until like the wheels catch up with the speed of the transmission. If you don't do that, it's just gonna fall right out of the boost. You gotta wait for the, um, the wheels catching up. Now they caught up. But I gotta hit this turn. I'm gonna do it right here, for example. So it catching up, catching up, shifts, and I'm still in boost. Like you gotta drive it like that. It's kind of funny because it's real, real dry. Come on, girl. Nice and smooth. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, come on, straighten up, straighten out. Woo! <laughs> nice save. <laughs> Back in, just wanted to dance. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. All right. Ooh. I thought he was going to overshoot that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. If this, if this run don't beat the 220, it would be extremely hard to beat that. That was a great number for it being the first hit. I know I said this car drives nice, but it's like it's little things that you gotta do to like keep it fast. Like that, all that is just spinning. Thank God I own a Honda, you know. <laughs> Drop down the gear, let it haze. Third, fourth. Come on, girl. 
Ooh, we did beat it. We actually beat it by like shit. That's like about a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. I'm gonna take that 219. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once I seen that you could put so much camper in these cars and automation, the first thing I thought about was I had to make a VIP style build. I love the way it look and I love the way it came out. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about the car or what y'all would like for me to build. I'll build anything. Just let me know in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.